Night Live. It feels like it's been like a year since I've been live on Wednesday. Because, uh, yeah, the last month has been cray cray. All right, so let me get the live pulled up on my computer so I can chit chat with you guys. Hey, hey, charming giraffe. Long time no see. So long. So as you guys tune in, please hit that thumbs up for me. Say hi in the chat box. Hey, Katie. And uh, let me know where you're watching from also. And for anyone watching this later, this is a live video. Please do not come commenting later about how it's annoying that I'm talking to people. The whole point of a live video is for me to chit chat with people and answer questions. Otherwise, there's no reason to go live. <laughs> Hey, Ralphie. Good to see you here. All right, today we are doing resin, mixed media girl artist resin. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this up while y'all start to tune in. And here we go. So I like to use uh, part B first. I think I'm going to mix up about 16 ounces. Not entirely sure what we're doing today. We're going to play it by ear a little bit. All right, we've got Nashville in the house, Michigan, Quebec. Hello. Welcome. I am in Los Angeles, California, for anyone who doesn't know that. Is there anyone here in the chat box that's brand new to my channel? Hey, Becky. I am so happy to be live here with you guys. Like, you have no idea how much I've missed the last few weeks of being live, and I almost missed today again, but I, I held my ground and I said, no, I am not doing anything during that time. Blue and gold, you're brand new, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Donna, good to see you here. All right, so you wanna mix for about three to four minutes. And we're gonna scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. So this is uh, your time with me, you guys. So feel free to um, ask any and all questions. I will do my best to answer. Hello, Sunshine Who Travels. Hey, Annie. Got a lot of first timers. <laughs> Good morning from Australia. So if you guys want to join me, and I would love, love, love it if you did, but I know it's kind of late for some of you. Um, sure, we can email that link, no problem. You might have to remind me though, shoot me an email. <laughs> Otherwise, I may or may not remember, okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I would love it if you guys can join me. I'm doing a very special Amazon Live at 6 p.m. my time tonight, which is 9 p.m. East Coast. And it's gonna be a two hour live. I'm going to be using um, the metallic acrylic paints, the acrylic markers, um, their canvases, and um, the colored pencils. So it's going to be a really, really, really fun live. If you guys can join me on Amazon, the link is actually in the description, but Veronica can probably also grab it for you. Um, it's gonna be a lot of fun and I would really love, love, love to have you guys there. Uh, Katie, do you mean if the bottles aren't opened or if they're opened? Um, any plans for classes in New England? Currently I have Seguin, Texas in September and then Florida in November, and those are both up on my website. Um, Veronica can grab you the link real quick for the Seguin workshop, Donna, no problem. I am working on classes in North Carolina, Los Angeles, and Washington, but realistically those will be next year because this year is already completely full. Uh, Katie, unopened, I would say probably at least six months. Should be a good point. Um, I, you guys probably noticed I came out with my new pouring medium. If you didn't, um, go get it. But if you did, I, I, I also have a new formula for my paints, which is even better than the current one. And that will be able to last a lot longer. So it'll be awesome. 
Um, we're in Florida, Palm Harbor. And yes, I am absolutely planning on coming to Australia. Not totally sure when. <laughs> All right, so these are some new molds that I got from um, Fluid Art Co. And I'm so excited to try them. So I have been um, hanging out with Billy from Fluid Art Co. for a while now. For a while. It's been like a week. <laughs> for like two weeks we've been best friends. But I'm actually going to Washington on Friday to hang out with her. And I'm really, really excited. So I think for these new molds, we'll also use some um, piggies to color the resin. And last time I went pretty warm with my colors, but there's this color, Syrah, which is just disgustingly beautiful. So I think I kind of want to use that again. And then there's a lot of um, these kind of interference colors, which are ones that look really pearly, but they have a different color depending on the light that they're shined in. So I think for this, maybe, here comes the train. Let's use rose quartz. I think we'll be good with that one. And then let's do a purple. Can't go wrong with that. We'll do nightfall. So I think those will be a good color combo. That's what we'll do in these coasters. Mm -hmm. This one's nice too. There's so many colors. Anyways, yeah. So, just a pre-warning, get uh, ready to see a lot of videos with the this little piggies in both resin and acrylic. I'm gonna try it out in my new pouring medium. And then there will also be some, hold on. There will also be some bloom videos coming. Who would be interested in bloom videos? I, I will, me, me. <laughs> All right, I've already got some on the outside of these. So let's mix up our colors here. Um, these molds typically don't hold. What's a bloom? <laughs> not even gonna honor that with an answer. Okay. Some people might not know. <laughs> I'm helping the masses here. <laughs> I know, right? I want to see how the piggies go with the pouring medium, too. All right. Hey, Laura. All right, so let's get in here with a scoopful. I'm not sure what you mean, Catherine. Where are you located? It's very easy to get in pretty much any country. They are all over the place. So this is the purple. That one is called Nightfall. Huh. I thought the piggies were really easy to get in Australia, but I could be wrong. All right, darn it. This color we might not be able to use today. It is sealed shut with something. I would pick a different one. Let's do Brule. We'll do brulee, and then this is Syrah. Yeah, Holly, I definitely get that. She said she likes the bloom, but hate the price of the Aussie flow trial. Totally understood. Okay. So I wanna do most, I think, of this interference color. I guess in retrospect, it would have made sense to do yellow sunflowers, but we're gonna go rogue. All right. Yay, you got your paints? Awesome. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure TLPs are available in Australia because that's where Shelly is, and Shelly's one of the owners of the company. But I don't know. <laughs> okay. So these mix into here really easily. And as with any colorant in resin, you typically don't want to add more than about 5 to 10 percent. You could absolutely do less. And you can sometimes go a little bit more, like up to about 15 percent. Just always kind of test it first, especially if you're using anything water-based. But that's the great thing about TLPs is they're just a powdered pigment. So you don't really have to worry about that. It kind of depends on how deep you want your colors also. So let's see. I might actually, I'm going to reverse what I was thinking here. I'm going to put the Syrah in the middle. And uh, resin, oh, hold on. Let me move these molds to a more logical place. <laughs> Sorry. I was really excited to get started. I also don't need to do 50 at once, I guess. I'll start with these four. Can you guys see this okay? I don't want to try to zoom in unless I have to. Okay, I think that's okay. All right, uh, resin is self-leveling. So you want to pour real slow and do it in small layers. You don't need to pour it all at one time. So I will probably come back and add a little more of this. So next, I think I'm going to do this lighter color on the outside. And forgive me, I don't remember which one this is. Brulee. But long story short, don't try to start filling in the mold until you've got all of your colors down or it'll basically just fill in the mold with one color. And I'm even gonna probably do these one at a time. So now let's get in here with some of the purple. I'm going pretty slow here. And that purple should bleed into that brulee, which is really exciting. I'm going to go in the middle with a little more of the Syrah. Yeah, I think that's going to be really nice. And then we'll basically layer these. So I'll go in here with a little more of the brulee. I'll push that purple back in. You just want to fill these in pretty slowly. And then the purple. I think what would be really pretty too, I'm gonna add more white back in. Well, it's not white brulee, but you know, is I think I'm going to use a stick to kind of alter this design a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and do our other ones. And let me go know, guys, if you have any questions as I am going, any questions about the resin, the pigments, or anything else, I will do my best to answer you. And I do have Veronica here as well. She can help me answer questions. So how is everybody doing? How is your Wednesday going? If you're just tuning in, say hi in the chat box. Let me know where you're watching from. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. <laughs> okay. Hopefully I mixed up enough of each color for these. All right. <laughs> lovely, lovely Ralphie. Excellent. I'm trying to pour these relatively evenly, but I make no guarantees. Okay. 
<laughs> Hello from Tennessee. First time here. Welcome. Uh, the, the This little piggies are the same for resin or acrylic, like blooms. It's, it's the same. It's just a, a powdered pigment. But they have tons of super fun colors, and their colors are all really bright and gorgeous. So I'm loving them. If it's distorted or blurry, probably is the word you're looking for, I'm guessing. Um, you might need to increase the resolution on your screen. YouTube sometimes automatically decreases it. So you can adjust your screen there. It's not, not distorted at the uh, home here. <laughs> Approximately how much resin in each of the molds? Honestly, I have no idea. I would guess five ounces. That's gonna be my guess. But it, these are a little bit deeper, so it could be more like six ounces. I'm mixing up just a little more brulee. And you can always do this in more than one layer. You don't have to do it all in one layer. It's totally up to you. All right, I do need a little more purple also. Ideally, you mix up enough for your project before you start, but I live on the edge apparently. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these colors. I hope I can get, I actually like this. You know what, I'm gonna leave it now that I did all that. Uh, but my initial plan was to kind of pull these out. So maybe we'll just have two and two because I actually really like that, how there's little less purple, more white. Keep in mind too, the resin's gonna continue moving. So the lines that I'm putting in here now, they're not gonna be staying. So we'll just have a nice blended look. I'm not gonna hold those lines though. And these are not filled in all the way, so I will probably also come back and put a little bit more resin in them. Uh, these are from Fluid Art Co. Okay, so I think I'm actually pretty happy with those. Let's see how they change as we're doing the rest of the video. One thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it with 91% isopropyl alcohol, and that helps to get rid of the air bubbles. So I'm gonna scooch this aside and go on to my next project, which is actually going to be something very different, and then I'll come back to these sunflower ones. Hey, Twisted Art Lady, welcome. Good to see you here. So I just put out a video on this on Facebook. Unfortunately, the sound was messed up. <laughs> so I have to re-upload it. Um, but I'm basically gonna do a really fun technique that I have been playing with. The two center cl colors are not super close in shade. No, it may look like that through the screen. And I can do a, a close up later. Or I can actually real quick show you guys the colors close up. So we've got Merlot and then that purple. They're not really, I mean, I guess like the darkness of them is pretty close, but yeah, one's definitely red, one's definitely purple. All right, so on this, I'm going to spritz this with 91% isopropyl alcohol. And that's uh, because I'm gonna be using alcohol inks on here and I don't want them to just stick to the mold. So for this, I'm gonna use some Ranger inks, some Pinata inks, and then some Pixis metallic inks. And I'm going to be doing blues and greens. Yeah, I love that Syrah, the maroonish color, so pretty. All right, so let's get started here. So I'm gonna kind of make lines of color. Now you're not gonna really be able to tell what colors these are because they all look dark when you start. This is a blue and it's not even a particularly dark blue. And you'll notice that they'll kind of bead up. 
This one is Pinata Rainforest Green. And I'm doing lines here. You can do like circles. It's really up to you. Just don't overdo it with the ink. It does not actually need that much. I'm gonna do a little bit of this Limeade, which I think will be a nice bright color, hopefully in here, we'll find out. I kind of like this technique because it's one of those you sort of don't know what you're gonna get until you put your resin in, and then it's just kind of a surprise. All right, I do wanna use some metallics in here, so I'm gonna use this metallic blue. It's called Tranquil. Tranquil, Tranquil. These sometimes get stuck, which is really annoying. Uh-oh, that's not where that, okay. I'm not using that one, Never mind. scratch that. So I love the colors of the Ranger inks, but they get stuck. So I have been using actually the Pixis metallic ones a lot recently. So this is the Pixis silver. See how easy that is? As it gets stuck. Yeah, this is gonna be really pretty. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of pearl in here also. It's also Pixis. Okay. And lastly, in the middle, I'm gonna add a little pinata white. That's so we have a lighter center. Okay, you guys ready for this magic? Hey, Clara. Okay, this is where you guys gotta pay attention. So I'm gonna pull right in the middle and it is gonna just push those inks out and create just this beautiful design. Love it. Don't get too excited and over pour your tray. Now I put the isopropyl alcohol in here first, plus then the alcohol inks. So we've got quite a bit of liquid in here. So it's kind of naturally going to float. Since the resin is pushing it outside, you can see that the inks go to the outside and then they kind of float to the top. So that's what you'll see here. And I like to kind of let that do its thing. I like to just give it a minute and let it kind of settle. This has a lot less ink than I've put into my more recent ones. So let's do this because I'm kind of potentially nearing the end of some work time here. I'm going to just use up the rest of my mixed up resin here real quick. It is fascinating, I agree. And these are really fun ones that I also got from Fluid Art Co. I'm gonna go a little more cray cray on these. You could definitely be deliberate and pour in the triangles if you want to, but I am not that kind of person. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, some people definitely do and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just a little too sloppy. So I'm gonna just use up my mixed resin while this keeps moving and doing its thing over there. Yeah, I'm so bummed out. I uploaded that video to Facebook and I somehow messed up the sound. So half of the sound is missing and I've got to re-upload it. Very frustrating. <laughs> okay, let's get in here with some of this interference color. Don't try and hold me in. <laughs> you funny. I'm curious how these will look. I, I, this is my first time using any of these molds. So I'm pretty excited. I think these ones will look awesome with just the kind of colors put in totally at random like I'm doing now. But maybe someday if I have a lot of patience, I will try putting them directly into the triangles, you know? Quickie idea, dust the lines with pigment powder. Yeah, absolutely. Not gonna happen right now, but that is absolutely an easy way to do triangles or any shapes like that, is to just take some mica or something and brush it on there. Fantastic way to do them. 
I have quite a bit of this Syrah. So this should be plenty, hopefully, to fill in the rest of this these coasters. And then we'll wrap up our tray. Uh oh, I got a little excited on that one. Forgot about this one. Okay. Even if I don't fully fill these in, I'm going to have to mix up some more resin anyway, so we can always come back to them. There we go. Okay. Yeah, not quite fully filled in. Needs a little bit more in these, but that's okay. We'll come back to that. Ooh, can you guys kind of see the flowers over here a little bit? I actually think I prefer the ones. This is what I, one of the ones I use the stick in. And this is one of the ones I did not use the stick in. I prefer the one I use the stick in. So let's go ahead, social experiment here. Now that the resin's cured a little bit, we're gonna just pull out that purple and we'll see how the lines hold versus the ones we pulled out earlier. Let's do that with both of these. And I apologize, I feel like I'm a little all over the place tonight, but that's because I'm in rapid project mode. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Hi, Sherry. You're excited? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead, scooch that aside. Scooch this aside, and let's finish our tray. This will probably be my pro favorite project of the evening. So you could just let that alcohol ink sit there, but I like to take a stick and use it to pull that ink in to the resin and kind of make a design. Now, if you want your lines, like right now there's gonna be lines in here. If you want those lines to really stay, then do this once your resin has actually kind of started curing, which it actually has a little bit now, so it might be a good time. Um, but you know, you can let it sit for like 30, 45 minutes or so, and then come in and do this, and then it'll hold the lines a lot more. I'm not too, I don't really want the lines, I just want the design, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But I just like to pull it in towards the middle here, away from the edge, and it's just gonna look beautiful. It's gonna continue moving until it is cured, so these lines will just kind of become blended. Okay, a little bit more over here. There we go. All right. And now I'm going to spritz this one more time. Okay. Let me just right, turn off the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it came back for half a second. Like it's back in. Is anyone having buffering issues? Let me know if you can hear me. Yeah, I'm fixing this too. How about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Darn internets. Especially when you pay so much for it. It should work, right? That's, that's my story and I'll stick it to it. Okay. So I like to get these drawer pulls from Amazon. Um, I actually got them on this particular set on a massive like Amazon deal where I got like a million of them for like $18. Veronica and I went to freaking Lowe's and to get drawer pulls. They were, I'm not kidding you, $8 each versus Amazon. I literally got 30 of them for $18. So Lowe's, go home. A million for 18. Yes. <laughs> a million for 18. It was a fantastic deal. One of those lightning deals, you know? <laughs> okay. So I like to just set them in here. You could, of course, uh, screw them in after your project is dry. Totally up to you. The resin will hold them very, very well. Hey, Lori, I just sent you a package. So, 
enjoy. Um, just make sure that these get lined up. I like to put them in probably a little bit less than an inch from the edge here. And then just make sure that they're even on the sides. And it doesn't hurt to have someone else double check it for you. I'm just saying. Uh, Veronica's always in charge of that. She gets a little scared, but she does a great job. Okay. Hey, Diz. Welcome. All right. Do you guys want to see? Let's do our final set of coasters, and then we'll do close-up of everything, okay? Just remind me. Um, the, some of the handles are in my Amazon shop. Um, the gold ones are. I need to put the silver ones in there, so... Yeah, I'll try to remember to do that. Okay, but remind me at the end before I sign off to show you guys a close up of all these projects, okay? All right, let us mix up some more resin and we'll do our sunflowers with maybe some more logical colors. Maybe, no promises. And then I'm gonna finish filling in these guys. Let's just move these over so you guys can see them. You want to know how you tell if your table is level? <laughs> Do a resin project. So see how much these have moved? They're so pretty. I actually, I really like, uh -oh. I like the ones with a smaller center here. Actually, I actually only have one of those. <laughs> I guess I put less you want illogical colors? Well, that's good. I'm a pro at that. All right. <laughs> Sunflowers are your favorite flowers. Ooh, you want to show them the tray and coasters we did? I did a sunflower themed tray and coasters with alcohol ink. And I'm not sure if they are sunflowers, but I think they're gorgeous. So these will be up on my website soon. I'm buffering again. Not my fault. It's is not it, on mine. Is it the? Okay, good. Maybe it's just on mine. Look how pretty. Show the backs too. The backs are so pretty. Sometimes I like the backs more than the front. You never know. That gold is crazy. Yeah. Oh, was that gold in this one? Uh, it was copper. The Pixis copper, oh, copper and gold, I think. No, I think, I think we both. Did. I think we, I don't remember. No. Oh. <laughs> Aren't those so pretty though? So pretty. So those are some logical colors for sunflowers, that is. Okay. And once again, for anyone who just kind of tuned in, I am doing an Amazon Live later tonight. Thank you, Becky. And I would so appreciate it if some of you could join me. It's going to be something a little bit less usual then it's not going to be pouring paint or resin i'm going to be using uh, acrylic markers the acrylic metallic paints colored pencils Ooh, if you guys remind me too i will show you frederick my owl from earlier today i did a amazon live earlier today but anyways these are uh special ones and it would mean the world to me if you guys were able to make it I know it's a little bit late, probably, for some guys. But anyways. Yeah, thanks, Becky. I really, really appreciate that. No idea. It makes such a difference. Okay. Is there some purple left in here? Oh, no. Cannot waste resin. Use every drop. Every, every drop. Um, it's at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. I know it's a little bit late, and it's going to be a two-hour live. A two-hour live. Um, do you look in the island? No? A three-hour tour. No, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. What are we mixing? We could try the alcohol ink in there, like I did in the tray. We haven't done that yet. I've been wanting to. Bugger, I'm out of yellow. Oh, you're out of yellow, of course. Of course I'm out of yellow. On both colors? 
both I didn't have yellow and green here. I know. Well, I, if I run out of a color, that's a good sign. Such a random color, though. <laughs> I know, but it's so pretty. I've used it so much. It is pretty. Okay. Let me see what I've got. Uh, okay. I have a color here called submarine. That's pretty promising. <laughs> Maybe oh. I do like a combination of inks and this. Veronica has her doubts. So do I. We're going to try it anyways. Orange and deep red. True. Okay. We're going to just try it. Okay. What's the worst that could happen? Don't ever answer that. It's never the actual answer. A lot worse things could happen. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing 500 coasters at once. Do you need assistance? Not probably the kind you could give. You don't, you don't know what I'm skilled at. True to <laughs> Okay. I have many talents. So I'm going to mix up some um, of this TLP. This one's called Submarine. Sing it in your head. We all live in a submarine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Ralphie. Bugger. Okay. So I'm going to make this pretty light, though. I don't want this to be, like, super concentrated color. And I make zero promises, but I'm going to try to basically do what I did on those other coasters, and we'll see what happens. I don't typically do combos with the, uh, like a pigment and an alcohol ink. So it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh no, Angela, that's rough. All right, we're gonna start off with some clear resin. Is anyone paying attention to how long I mix this? Nope. Nope, me neither. Hope for the best. I'm not filling this in all the way, but giving a good base coat here, like completely filling in the bottom layer of these basically. And these are kind of done in reverse, so that's going to be exciting to see. Uh oh, not frozen on my end. It did for just a second. Oh, just a second. Yeah. Okay. Like, wait a second. All right, so let's go crazy and try starting with the yellow first. I'm gonna pour right in the middle and then I'm gonna basically pull it out. Just have some faith, guys, okay? It will maybe work. <laughs> Either way, I think we can't go too wrong. I'm just saying. Okay, maybe should I have made that a little more pigmented? It's pretty transparent. No? That's okay. Because okay. you're... Trust the process. Maybe. Yeah. Sometimes. Probably. Because the alcohol inks are going to be pretty Yeah, that's too. what I was thinking. That was my initial thought process, and then I second-guessed myself. Okay, so we're starting off with yellow here. I actually meant to spritz this with the alcohol before I started because I like to do this before getting the alcohol inks in there so I don't have to do it after because it will affect your alcohol ink designs. So I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to pull out towards the outside. I'm not going to really try to like stick with the pattern of the petals or anything because that just would be impossible plus it's resin. It's going to keep moving. This would be a great mold to do the technique that um, Clara was talking about earlier, where you kind of brush it with a pigment like mica powder or something before you put the resin in. Would look, I think, beautiful in these. What, so. about, what about your casting craft one? That would make some weird patterns in here. Oh. Yeah. That's good for doing like the ink drips uh, or for more like a rose kind of technique, I guess. I don't know about for a sunflower. 
Okay, there you go. We're done. Beautiful. Oh, my arm's tired. <laughs> You want me to do it? No, it's okay. Hey, Jenny, Jenny. Can't wait to see you in September. Who's coming to Seguin? Clara is. Jenny is. Donna, are you going to come to Seguin? Are you still here? Or who's coming to Florida? Lots of you are coming to Florida. Me. Yeah, Seguin is so fun. I mean, where else are you going to get, you know, Rhonda, Erica, Clara, and Mixed Media Girl all in one room. I mean, just not gonna happen. You gotta be there. That actually kind of even looks kind of cool by itself. It kind of looks like sun or something. Yeah, but we're gonna do a little more work. <laughs> we're not gonna leave it like that. Okay, um, so I am going to use a drop, I think, of the, this is Pinata Calabaza Orange. And same thing, I'm going to put it in the middle here. Now, alcohol inks really spread, oh, or two drops, you know. Alcohol inks really spread, so you don't want to overdo it, okay? <laughs> How about Vegas? Um, actually, I could potentially be in Vegas in November, but no promises. I will definitely let you guys know as soon as I know. Right now it's nothing more than a vague possibility. So don't get too excited. For reals. This will either look like a sunflower or a sun or pigments in resin. Octopus. <laughs> octopus. <laughs> That's way too many legs for an octopus, I'm just saying. <laughs> Trust the process. Remember, it's going to keep moving. These lines are not going to stay as they are, which will sometimes be sad and other times be fantastic. Okay? Yeah, we need more yellow. Okay. I think I'm going to add a little more pigment to this yellow and maybe put some more in there. I'm also gonna be adding some white into here so that will lighten it up too. I just don't want it to be too orangey. And I still wanna add hopefully a little copper in here also. There we go, that's not too shabby. Okay. Tip, if you want your lines to stay strong, connect them to the edges, then they won't pull back. Yes. Also, don't do them when your resin was just mixed. Wait till they've cured a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add just a little more pigment here. <laughs> yes, don't forget to get the close-ups. You gotta remind me at the end though, because I will probably forget. Let me see if I have even like a drop of this yellow alcohol ink. I might. Come on. No. Nope. Okay. Not even one drop. I'm still not going to throw it away. I'm going to put it back. And then I'm going to be sad about it again later. That's how I roll. Is that a fun game you play? <laughs> it is a fun game I play. All right. So I'm adding some more yellow here. And into this yellow also I am going to add... Um, a drop of the white alcohol ink and pull that out. Then we'll go for our more dark center. You know, no matter what it comes out, like, just have fun with it. That's all that matters. You can't go too wrong, really. You cannot. All right, so I'm going to take the pinata white. I'm going to put... I think two drops actually in each center here. Or three in that case. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull it out. I think that just increased the orange. Well, all right. It's going to be an orange sunflower. Is that a thing? I'm sure it is. I'm sure. Okay, good. She's sure. 
an orange sunburst. Excellent. She showed me pictures. I'm a believer. Uh, this is Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. Okay. I think it's going to look cool. It may not look like a sunflower, but it'll look cool. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's all right. She's going crazy. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am. I mean, you're not making the mess that I'm making, so maybe not quite much, as much fun, but yeah. Uh, Carrie, what's your question? I am available for any and all questions. Okay, I am going to, in the middle here, use some Pixis Copper. Uh, carry, it will to a degree, absolutely. If you look at, um, there's a video I recently did on uh, Instagram, I believe, and TikTok, it's a reel, and I did a bloom. The pouring medium was what I used for the activator. But I'm not promoting it as such because I have some other things in the works. So this is the copper. I think I'm going to go in here with a little... No, no black. You said no black last time. Okay. We'll go in here with a little bit of gold too. <laughs> I know, right, Melissa? Since Johnny's not here... I gotta do it for him, I guess. One drop of gold. I mean, sunflowers have big centers, right? Yes. Okay, we'll do more than one drop. But remember the metallic ink is gonna just go, go, go. It's not gonna rest till it has taken over half of the mold. Um, what I did last time too, the uh, metallic tends to kind of stick together and kind of create this like almost film. So what I did last time too was I kind of broke it up here with my stick and then I think we're going to call it probably quits on these this is going to be as close to a sunflower as we're going to get with what we have here <laughs> I think they're going to be pretty I really can't wait till they're dry kind of just breaking up that gold you can pull the gold out too if you wanted to I guess but I'm going to just break it up break it up guys break it <laughs> get back to class Is the pouring medium similar to Floetrol? Um, yes, in that they're both pouring mediums. But it's also similar to Golden's GAC 800, and it's also similar to Liquitex pouring medium. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the end of this experiment. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to just finish filling in these guys. I think I'll just put a little bit of clear in here. I'm going to spritz everything and then I'll bring y'all in for a close-up. Yep, thank you Ralphie. Okay. I'm just gonna, these don't need a lot more. I'm just gonna go carefully with my stick here. Actually that one doesn't seem like it needs any. those kind of do their thing. Speed it up, speed it up. Uh oh, overflow, overflow. Okay, so that happens when you try to speed it up. So I'm spritzing everything. This is going to break up this alcohol ink a bit as well. 
And let's do our close-up. Camera's going to shake. Close your eyes if you need to. Here we go. All right, first off, here is our gorgeous tray. Look how beautiful this is. I love it. No worries, Melissa, I totally get it. Don't worry, we're actually wrapping up here anyway, so. You're off the hook. You're good. All right. I love how these have moved. They've pretty much done exactly what I wanted them to do. Now I just have to worry about the other side. <laughs> how do they look on the other side? That's my worry. I actually prefer doing the coasters that are not done upside down because I know what they're going to look like. <laughs> In this case, I'm like, I have no idea. So here's the ones with all the triangles. Those I'm not too worried about. Here's our sort of sunflower ones, ish. I might come back in in a little bit and pull that color out one more time when it's cured a little bit more, but who knows? It's fun. It reminds me more of one of those like pokey balls from the tree, you know, that sometimes you use in like Christmas ornaments and stuff or just throw at people, depending on the day you're having. And the people you're <laughs> <laughs> the people you're mad at. Sunburst, yes. All right, I think though overall this is my favorite. And if you want to see a full tutorial on this, go check out the video on Facebook. Bye. I said bye, Melissa. <laughs> that was an ATD moment for anyone who didn't know. Um, yeah, I just put up a tutorial for that on Facebook. So I would love for you guys to check that out. I'm going to upload the version with full sound in a minute. Oh yeah, here's Frederick. Veronica reminded me. So this is what I created earlier on the Amazon Live. And I created this live. How nerve wracking is that? So I'm gonna do it again because earlier the torture wasn't enough. <laughs> I need two hours of it. Three. And yeah, two more hours, I mean, you know. Uh, we're going to, uh, this is like, okay, so colored pencil. And then um, this is the metallic paint in here. And then I've also got some of their uh, uh, acrylic marker. I love him. He's adorable. He's my bestie. <laughs> Another torturous owl. No, instead of an owl... Uh, I'm going to be doing some sunset paintings probably. Um, so if you are interested in embellishments too, it's probably a good video for you to join on or just interested in painting like beaches and sunsets or just want to hang out with me because I will miss you already after this video. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday Night Live. I hope to see you all in about an hour or so. Have a good night. Bye.